Today is September 30th, on which we commemorate Jerome, priest and monk of Bethlehem. Jerome was born in northern Italy in AD 347, and became a Christian and was baptized while a student in Rome. Ordained a priest in AD 378, he became widely sought out as a spiritual director and teacher. He would become best known, however, as the most important translator and biblical scholar of the early church. It was while serving as papal secretary that Jerome was given the task of translating the Bible from the original Hebrew and Greek into Latin. At the time, Latin was the language spoken by the common people and regarded as the vulgar tongue in comparison to the classical Greek. Thus, Jerome's translation would become known as the Vulgate. Though he knew Greek, Jerome's Hebrew was limited, and so he moved to Jerusalem to increase his abilities. There he realized that the rabbinical Jews did not regard the Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible, the Septuagint, to be the true scriptures. Christians had always used the Septuagint as their Old Testament. But Jerome decided to do his translation from the original Hebrew. This meant that books which were found only in the Septuagint, such as Maccabees, Judith, and Tobit, would now be relegated to a second-class status in the Christian Bible, the Apocrypha. The Vulgate would remain the Church's standard translation of the Scriptures for centuries. In addition to his translation work, Jerome's commentaries, letters, and treatises make significant contributions to Christian theology. Jerome spent his last years living a harshly ascetical life as a monk in Bethlehem. When he died on this day in AD 420, he was buried in the Church of the Nativity. Let us pray. O Lord, O God of truth, your word is a lantern to our feet and a light upon our path. We give you thanks for your servant Jerome and those who, following in his steps, have labored to render the Holy Scriptures in the language of the people. And we pray that your Holy Spirit will overshadow us as we read the written word and that Christ, the living word, will transform us according to your righteous will. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.